Yeah. Charlie Parsons for the stomping ground powered by Wow Hydro. I can't believe we see you and Frank Warren and Mr. Ben Shalom. I know, I know. Over I told, there. Listen, you haven't got you haven't got to keep ducking these fights. You can win them as well, you know. <laughs> you know what I mean? So hopefully that'll that'll bring us uh, some more fights together. How are we, Edward? I'm good, brilliant night. I mean unbelievable night of action. Um, the co-main event, one of the fights of the year. Brilliant, brilliant fight. Shannon Ryan in a great fight, Cameron Vong in a great fight, Hamzu Dean, even the last fight, you know, great action and just a brilliant night of boxing in Birmingham. What's the situation, I suppose, what's the situation, but next for Felix Cash, I mean, it's been a, a very weird sort I don't of know, I mean, look, I, you got, if you want to make excuses, you can say, of course, that he was out of the ring for 18 months. That's the reality of the situation. But, you know, you've got to ask yourself, how bad do you want it? You know, and there was times in there tonight where he switched off, but it's difficult to say because of the inactivity. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, you can say that sometimes he looked a bit disinterested and, you know, did he want to be in there? And then other times you say, well, his timing weren't there. I mean, that was apparent. You know, I actually liked the fight as it was moving on because I think he was starting to obviously get into the fight, but he got hit by a big shot the round before. Denny was 100% ahead in the fight. And, the, you know, one of the challenges with Tyler Denny is his engine's really good. So if you're getting to six, seven rounds and you're a little bit tired, he's going to go through you. And that was probably what would have happened in the fight, in all honesty. So, you know, Felix has got to ask himself some questions and, you know, maybe that's time for him or maybe he feels he can come back. I know you're a man who can appreciate that sort of Cinderella story as such, as we've probably seen with Tyler Denny. Ben, how's it been with Edward? <laughs> how's it been? Yeah. I said, I said, it just shows you, you can make the fights, you can win them, you know, know you can I win know, them, I know. I know. That was, that was, to be honest, you were saying Tyler was a side favourite. I thought, I thought Tyler was the favourite because of the inactivity, you know, but, and you saw that in the first six rounds, but the thing is, if you, if you get tired and you lose those first five, six rounds against Tyler then he's going to come on like a That's train. The thing, yeah. And I think he would, I think he would have gone on to maybe even stop him. So, you know, he's a deserved winner. It was only going to get worse for Felix, yeah, yeah. wasn't it? But he didn't, he didn't look himself. His energy levels didn't look great. He didn't look particularly sharp. His feet didn't look that great. And if you're not up to it against Tyler Denny, he's going to make you pay. Ben, just quickly, being here with Eddie on a little matchroom show, I believe the first time the two of you have come face to face. All OK? No, to be fair, I was I had a little trouble getting in. I was thinking, here we go. But he brought his own security with him, yeah. to be fair. So. <laughs> to be fair, it's uh, it's been it's been a good experience. Obviously, uh, we've brought a few guys as well, and uh, yeah, I've really enjoyed it. But I have to say, the fight before when I came, oh, yeah, right, but, Crocker Connor yeah. Walker, that was a hell of a fight. It was a great atmosphere. It's a great show. So delighted to be part of it. And um, as he says, maybe maybe I think with Tyler Denny, I think you didn't expect to win that purse bid. I would say. Yeah, I mean, it's the first time you let us do yeah. a first bid, to be fair, you know yeah, what I mean? So but I think we were planning to do that fight, <laughs> but we were very happy with it, and obviously uh, it's good to do it's a good, look, event, It's yeah. a great story, Tyler Denny. And to be fair, Conor Walker, although he lost, a lot of people felt that he might have edged the fight, but what they've come back from, they're both, you know, when the, when the, the announcer's reading out two defeats, what is he, what's Tyler Denny, 15 and two? Who starts winning European titles and headlining shows when they're 15 and 2? You don't see it anymore. So there's a lot of value in these kids. And, and when they've been through those that adversity, they, they come back, they're dangerous. Then top man, I'm sure we'll catch up again. Uh, Edward, just sticking with you. Uh, there we are, we got there in the end. Oh, it's gold for you, boy. <laughs> That's what we're in the game for. Um, I suppose that co-main event. Firstly, before we talk about the yeah. fight itself, that seemed pretty rematch worthy. However, we yeah. know that uh, Paddy, Paddy Donovan, Donovan is yeah. somewhere. I, what, what's your initial I like, thought? I like the rematch, to be fair. You know, I think I, I'm, a, I'm a bit of a softie for Conor Walker. Yeah. Because I really like the kid. I think he's a fantastic fighter. I think he's got balls like watermelons. I mean, he took a lot of punishment <laughs> off Crocker. Do you know what's it's really weird? Because Myro most had it a draw or Crocker by one. And when I got in a ring, the entire row here, all of the DAZN guys, all of the media, were all saying that Conor Walker yeah. won the fight. So, but it's one of those fights, you know, I mean, it's quite surprising that it wasn't a split, you know, that there was actually three scorecards that were, that were in the favour. So, you know, I thought it was a tremendous fight. Both guys were brilliant. One of the fights of the year, hats off to both. Conor comes back regardless yeah, of the I've matchroom told him, show. Listen, one million percent, you have my word, you're coming back on a matchroom show. Whether it's the rematch, whether it's another fight, He's brilliant to watch every time. He's a good, hard-working, honest kid, and he deserves all the success he gets, and we will bring him back a million percent. Uh, just a few more. Uh, could you run us through the undercard, Cameron Vong and Jeff Yeah, look, I think, you know, 
people, they gave Jeff a 41 round, a 41 three rounds, and you know, it's just the closing stages. You've got to remember Cameron Bong, that was his fifth fight. Yeah. Like, to do 10 rounds against a fighter like Jeff Afori, very impressive. He can move forward now. I thought Shannon Ryan, Emma Dode, another fight that could have gone either way. It was a brilliant fight. I thought the knockdown was a bit naughty on the back of the head if you watch it back. But great fight. Congratulations, Emma Dode. Hamza Udine looks sensational. Um, He's fun, Hamza Udine. He is. Good fighter. And, you know, Ibrahim, Spider looked great. Uh, Muhammad Ali in a draw. You know, it was a very tough fight for him tonight. And uh, Emmanuel Odeasi looking good with a great knockout. I just spoke to Jack Cattrall and I said British boxing fan, uh, fans will be thanking you because yeah. after sort of bringing the big arena fights back with the uh, Josh Taylor yeah. rematch, now Regis Progre at the AO. Where's this come from? Because it seemed like it was Barboza or maybe the trilogy. Do you know what? Honestly, the, the Regis Progre fight got made in the last 48 hours. We were pushing really hard for Barboza. Everyone wanted to take his money. like, And it just... We gave Barboza a great offer. They, they dropped the ball, the whole team, and Regis Progre just stepped up and he went, I'll a million percent fight Jack Catcher. I thought, fuck me, that's a much better fight than Barboza. Barboza just got beat to Sean McCone. And Regis Progre needs to bounce back. He's a big name. You've seen him in the UK before. And Jack Catcher said, just give me the smoke. We're in the co-op arena, which is a fantastic arena. The card's going to be sensational. And that's a brilliant fight, Catcher against Progre, August 24th. You're obviously not going to confirm now. We expect Joshua Dubois to be announced on Wednesday. Then you go to Arizona for BAM. Uh, Sonny Edwards on the card, obviously. Yeah. Then Johnny Fisher, yeah. I believe. Then to Philly yeah. for Jeron Boots. Yeah. I'm not quite And then August the 3rd in LA for the Riyadh season yes, card. And then any more there will be another one in, in August. I think it's going to be in Mexico uh, prior to the August 24th card, perhaps. Uh, and then, yeah, there. And then we're already planning September already. Obviously, 21st at Wembley. Any the hints season. as to some UK headliners? Not yet. Dalton Smith will be in a big fight. Um, obviously, we just announced Catchall Progre. Joshua buzzing. Okay, very quickly, what are we making of this, Sean? I don't, I don't mind. I just think the hat's terrible. Like, who puts a Bought fringe underneath Selfridges a hat? Today. What, the hat? Yeah. It's like all flat. Down to 20 quid. Looks like you fucking... I just thought it was a bit different, do you know what I'm saying? Sat on it Can on I a plane it on your for eight quickly? hours. No, very no, quickly. no. Odds Absolutely. on, one to three. No. Have you ever played odds on? One what? to three, we play odds on no, and you no, have to put no, it... No, 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 go away and let me do some proper <laughs> meeting. Edward, see you later.